โอ้ยอันดับสอง Well, it belongs to the boss lady, but for sure it's gonna look better on me. Yes, w a n i my love. <laughs> I think you need someone to string you out. We've been missing that man, guys. Hi there. What are you doing, in my guy? Get out of here right now, Gustavo. What does this mean? j o s t w a n i I I thought it was you in there. You were. Uh, since when did you get involved with the maid? Enjoy it. I. But but it's not. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> What the hell's wrong with you? Just wait, my love. <sighs> What a shame. Such a beautiful couple you make. Who thought it will be a shame if someone ruined that happy marriage? <laughs> Just wait, please let me explain. It didn't happen like that. Don't be so shameless. And at least have the guts to admit the crap you just pulled, cheating on me in my own house. It's not what you think. Let me explain, please, my love. Mr. G- Gustavo is telling the truth, ma'am. I, I dared to take a bath in your shower, taking advantage of the trust, right? But I don't even think you will arrive so early. And, well, I think Mr. Gustavo got in, thinking it was you. And well, my love. My love, she's telling the truth. Please, things didn't happen like that. Believe us, believe us, my love. I'm so confused. I need some fresh air. Just, <laughs> just running, my love. Don't live like this, sir. I think that. Let her be. She needs time to think. You better get back to your duties, I think. Uh, yes, I'll be in the kitchen if you need anything. Ma'am, can I? I wanted to apologize for yesterday incident, but. I want to tell you something. You know, you can tell me anything. Um, it's just, it's just that on different occasions, I've noticed that Mr. Gustavo stares at me and flirts with me, and I feel very uncomfortable. What are you saying? What you're saying? Is a serious accusation, I think. Are you sure? My husband's flirting with you? Uh, no, I don't know. Maybe not. I think I imagine it. Please don't tell Mr. Gustavo anything. Don't worry. I appreciate that you let me know. Well, I appreciate you for being so understanding. I'm really thankful, and I was really afraid to say this. You have nothing to thank me for. I've always believed that women should support each other. I apologize. Excuse me. Hello, my love. What's wrong? Are you mad at me, Gustavo? That's exactly what I'm wondering. What's going on with you? Come on, Jaswani. I don't get it. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop trying to make me look stupid. I want you to be very careful with what you do. 
Aida is not alone. Princess, Aida explained that it was all a misunderstanding. It better be, Gustavo. It better be. What are you talking about? These jewels look way better on me. I do have beauty and lots of class. I believe I deserve to be the owner of this house. What are you doing with my wife's jewelry? Don't you think they look better on me, my love? I ask you to take them off and respect my wife's belongings. Were you playing hard to get, huh? I know you desire me as much as I desired you. Don't say nonsense. I hope you know your place in this house. If not, you'll have to leave and learn to respect your employers. So you better start cleaning. Is that what you want? Well, then you're going to pay for having scorned me. Boss. I just don't like it when we're upset. You put on the baby doll I bought for you. <laughs> Gustavo! <gasps> what does this mean? No, my love. Let me explain. There's no way you... <laughs> Shut up, teacher. You're a pig. I did please tell her the truth. I enough, Gustavo. What truth? Joswani, your husband has been cheating on you with me for a long time. What? And I have a surprise for you. I'm expecting Gustavo's baby. No, no, that's not true. That's a lie. My love, you can't believe to her. <laughs> you knew how much I wanted to be the mother of your children. But you don't deserve even an insult or aggression from me. I don't want to see you again. Just running my love. My love, wait! I want you to leave my house. Or I would answer no, for what no. you want. Get out! Get out! No. Get, out. No. Get out! Get out of my house. Get out! No, it's not true. No. What is happening? Just want it. Just want it, my love. Just want it, my love. What are you doing here? I told you not to come back. What? I came to claim what's rightfully mine. <laughs> to you. I deserve to be the lady and owner of this house. More than the ugly and weird just one. I'm gonna ask you not to speak of her like that. Just one is much more of a lady than you. You ain't changed. Hey, respect me. We're respecting a child. You know perfectly well that's a lie. Between you and me, there was never anything. Oh no? And what? Who's going to believe you? Your wife is so stupid. She believes everything she's told is a word that ends mine. I wouldn't allow you to insult her. Joswani is not a stupid. She's noble and thinks everyone here is good. She never imagined the scorpion she had next to her. Well, no. You still have time to realize and say with a real woman. Let go of me. I would never touch a woman like you. And I would never share my life with you. Even if you put on just one his jewels and clothes, you'll never be like her. The only 
You've provoked me. Is disgust. Hey, Ben. You're despicable. I, I gave you my trust. Opened the doors of my house to you without even knowing you and gave you a job. But you're right. I'm a stupid. Putting a harpy like you into my house. Just wait, my love. All of this was a trap. Shh. Don't say anything. I heard everything she said. I should have trusted you more. And less in this newcomer. I came to bring you the divorce papers. But Gustavo, look, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You hurt my wife. I want you to leave my house or I'll throw you out of myself. No, no. It's not necessary. I'll be no. the one who take this no. bastard. Let go of me. Just yeah, do it. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. My love. Sometimes we think that people around us are as honest and grateful as we are and that they will know how to reciprocate our gestures of love and empathy without imagining that they had a ferocious wolf under the ship's skin ready to destroy everything. Some people simply can't stand to see others happy and will do anything to sabotage their happiness. But life is a boomerang and it returned to us multiplied what we give to others.